utapata mtu mwingine audience yake sema ni young moms ni mm-hmm. young vijana mm-hmm. so unaona hiyo competition na nini so what i compete with ni venye naezaleta jenu family yani watoto wanafurahia nini wanafurahia nini but from other comedians mimi mpenda kulana mm-hmm. Hi and welcome to Royal Trendia. My name is Daniel and today I'm joined by the Prince of Mweho. Wewe mwenyewe. Bwana Desagu kabisa. Karibu sana Desagu. Ah thank you so much. Na by the uh, viewer tuko kwa studio ya Desagu and uh, you'll be telling us more on that but Desagu ni nani? Desagu. <laughs> Desagu ni hasla mwehoko. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Ni he's a guy mwenye represent Prince Nyaba. Kijana na struggle, struggle zenye maizu wengi Kenya wanapitia na struggle kupata job. Mhm. Ana struggle kupata mali permanent, ana struggle financially, mm-hmm. ana hustle ni boy bado anajituma. Na ni mtu wa watu so ana reflect the common guy who is struggling. In he place is Nyaba. Yo, place he ghetto na si town. Una struggle kweli unajua watu mtu akikuangalia hiyo wewe sasa sasa si unajua mimi ni dhagu kibucho <laughs> the mimi ni dhagu kibucho that's jina yenye mzazi alinipea okay hizo zingine mwehoko rap kings mm-hmm. juu desagu nini hizo ni mimi nimejichocha mimi mm-hmm. nimejipatia mm-hmm. so when you ask me with desagu desagu ni character mm-hmm. the ni dhagu kibucho okay mm. uh, na umezaje comment ni character because for the last Uh, years ambazo nimekujua mm. over three no over four years nimekujua mm. i character me i me remain constant au je fika mali so umeomoka umeacha hasla kukwasla ah zrago ukaanza kusasa ku roll na mabolas mtaani so basically unajua mm. ni character ni create iko iko very diverse kuz character ya msikierere hata kipatana na bolas yeye atarimeni kwa ile character yake tu mm-hmm. ni venye vile vitu wanaongelea ama ni siati ni mtu mjuaji okay. so nimejua but hiyo character kenye nime maintainia is a very broad character mm-hmm. so i'm always struggling with this and that ni venye tu naendo kia upgrade alafu pia nikakuwa na involve watu wengine ikaacha kukuwa tu about the sagu mm-hmm. kakuwa ni kama the sagu entertainment So when there is an entertainment I'm always bringing what we are getting new fresh ideas new fresh uh, I think like the react now at over 50 uh, that that's something I'm born to notice kwa channel mm. yako mm. leo kwa na flani leo kwa na flani mm. like yeah. Ojay remain na at maybe two or three characters mm. for very long time yeah. so kuna that means kuna talents ambazo umekuwa ki grow kwa yeah. maana uh-huh. kuja niona watu wengi waezangi kudia kujianzia YouTube you see right see was one thing about kitu kama youtube always mm-hmm. you end up unaenda diamond platinum mzimu tu unajua yeah. nyashinski so we kama unaitwa hapo job get worthy hakuna mtu anaweza enda andike job get worthy kwa youtube yeah. so watu wengi wanaogopa na kuanza but wakipata channel yenye ime grow grow anakuwa pata chance ya kuact wanapata confidence so mimi mm-hmm. wanaact na mtu kisha do a, a, a few episode mimi mwe encourage anzisha sasa channel yake ndio mm-hmm. ndio sasa na yeye ajijenge ya grow brand yake hivyo that's why ni miaki na watu wengi sana na mimi model na kuanga after tu miaki umepata confidence umeona watu wanafurahia na kazi yako wengine mm-hmm. ni kuogopa mm-hmm. so akiwa kwangu haogopi so namwambia sasa anzisha channel yake so hiyo pia imekuwa kitu ina ni maintain kwa hata watu wakienda hapo in the long run watu mm-hmm. wanamuona kama brand yenye umejenga okay mm-hmm. eh yeah. uh, so far like uh, ni wana ku approach ama waki ku approach na jamii naweza kukuja na kwambia eh this mm. by the mm. nataka kwa nataka ni feature mahali eh yeah. kabo fulani mwahanyaji <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> na ni bro mm. so what do you look for in someone mm. before mu approve aingie work na oh generally mimi nataka kujua mtu unajua nikishajua mtu na jua mtu wako hivi wako hivi wako hivi so generally si wewe utaniambia nitengeneze concept concept itakusuit Mm-hmm. Ni ile siku nitakuja na idea ni kukumbuke niseme eh na huyu jamaa anaweza fit this role. Okay. So nakuita tunafanya hiyo role. Sijaipenda mm-hmm. any production yenye inaanza na cast. Nataka mm-hmm. ngaianze na the idea. Mm-hmm. Then hiyo idea upe wale watu wenye wana ina suit. Okay. Eh yeah. so utapata ni kama hata vinyata tunafanyanga promotion. Kuna concept unaweza ona hata mimi mwenyewe siezi pull. 
au like ukipata gig ya eh, kuna gig unaweza pata na uone hii mimi siwezi pull so nitafutia mtu mwingine so even in acting mtu akini approach mimi niko na watu wengi 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 so generally when anafikiria idea nikitaka mzai nitapata mzai nikitaka yuda na kai ile nikitaka weida nikitaka nini hivyo hata wasichana is the same okay mm. there is something i really na uh, i've noticed somebody in it na yes so approachable bro mm. Despite the achievements you may make for industry <laughs> yeah. when it's approachable no no ni me fanyo ko humble all through is it like your past life ama ni 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 me fanyo ko ama we ni mkristo sana sana generally mm-hmm. ni because ni niona hizo vitu si watu na hizo idea mhm zinatokanga kwa watu okay Get the ideas i get ni tatoka hapa ta niende bash mahali yani when you interact with the common mwananchi mm-hmm. you get the content that you need to flourish the common mwananchi ukiacha kuhanga utuna common mwananchi mm-hmm. pia content yako ita flourish the common mwananchi mm-hmm. and how do you relate na common mwananchi sio kwa tu yeye ni msoka kawaida cause yeah. yeah. mimi ni mimi tu mm-hmm. so the more interact with what common the more content yangu ina relate now ukisema ati umeomoka ati sasa wewe utaenda kuhanga out na wasewa ndudhi pale usikie yeah. stage wanasema nini yeah. then now ndio target audience ya content yako ukiwaambia yeah. vitu vingine wataelewa mm-hmm. so basically patia kucheza chini and all that mm-hmm. because people can easily relate to me na watanipa hizo ideas za kuapt okay mm. wow so wewe umeshika wasi wengi sana mkono mm. so many comedians mmekuwa mm. nikiona kwa youtube yako mm. ukianzia mm. kuna wasi wale kushika mkono ndio fika mali umefika juu na days una na msia kitaka kuanzisha channel yake na call mm. msafe flani celeb flani mm. amuite interview ama afiche mali flani mm. ndio apik we mwenye initially ukianza kuna wasi walikushika mkono uh, siwezi siwezi sema nishiko mkono ati na watu popular ama watu washa guru mm-hmm. ah hiyo hapana na naanda sasa na mimi nikaamua wakati channel yangu ita grow yeah. nikipata chance ya kushika mtu mm-hmm. mimi nitamshika mkono cuz mm-hmm. sometimes is a negative experience yenye ulikuwa nayo mm-hmm. you don't want mtu mwingine experience so mimi ngiona mtu akona talent mm-hmm. yani we watch a grow a grow too eh alafu ni kitu pia to learn even from chachi mm-hmm. that watch what jenga watu as long as unajenga watu wote una grow okay and learn from chachi from diamond wewe jenga watu. So nikianza, mm-hmm. nikianza mimi nilikuwa na support mimi mwenyewe. Mimi najipe 100 shares mimi mwenyewe. Mhm. Cuz we expect but nikakuja kujua kama kitu ni mzuri itaenda. True. Yeah, if something is good, hata watu wa spoke support. Imagine mmoja ataona ambie mwingine mwingine word of mouth. Itamo mm-hmm. communication si word of mouth. Yeah. So that's what I has been. Sasa uh, in that process ya content creation, mm. ni challenges gani umeko ki umeipata na nazo? working in the alma comedians when you una, una mkono mm-hmm. na personally wewe mwenyewe ni challenge gani ume, ume meet ambazo mm-hmm. very unique unajua kuna wale wanasema oh, sikuwa na bando za mm-hmm. shida ilikuwa hii wewe challenges gani ambazo umepitia challenges mingi nikianza zilikuwa production budget unaona una camera unatumia simu au una editing suit mm-hmm. but every challenge you endo ki confronting you ki deal na ingi kidini nyingine so nikianza ulikuwa na hizo of course financial struggles mm-hmm. hauna camera hauna place ya kuedit mm-hmm. so una imagine wende uombe mtu camera kushoot mgonge sijui 2000 mm-hmm. pengine ni journalist time wakati yako nini urudi wende utafute journalist mwingine tuseme mahali kake ya UTV ya kueditie yeah. tena urudi ya una internet you struggle uende kwa mtu akupe password ya wifi ndio upload mm-hmm. but sasa as time grow unaenda una buy moja una buy kama camera unabaki sasa editing ndio shi shida mm-hmm. then una so hizo challenges unaenda kwa nyingine mpya inatokea haya usha buy camera mm-hmm. na ume buy editing suit then hiyo camera inakuwa level yake ya quality ni ndio sasa tena unataka nyingine bigger mm-hmm. so basically challenges mob zinakuanga zile mahitaji uko nazo na ile finance uko nazo alafu pia ku get clients mhm eh ku get clients ile is ku get cause mtu ataniona aone mini comedian but in real sense mm-hmm. my main job mimi ni online digital marketer Mm-hmm. ama digital marketer come mm-hmm. din ya ku get following na ku get attention mm-hmm. so in reality so kuweza kuje brand ufike mali utapata hizo biz ni noma sana mm-hmm. cuz hizo biz zingine atupe yangu jiwe ni noma hadi juku na nyingine ulipo ukafanya ni noma mm-hmm. so every job is a sample of the next so challenges mob na kuangaa hiyo na pia ku remain relevant mm-hmm. eh ku remain yani bado una bamba watu cuz sometimes people get tired and they want fresh things true mm-hmm. Uh, so the other question ni um, mm-hmm. umejifika mahali una kujipata na compete 
uh, personal in your mind and in your heart mm. and I feel on a compete with other YouTubers like you want to overachieve you want mm. to remain re- relevant na kuna hiyo struggle because you want to mngia kigonga 400 kio unataka kugonga mngia kigonga 600 kio unataka kugonga 600 umejipata kwa hiyo Uh, so basically mimi specifically si 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 sema nishai jipata hivyo cause utapata most of the comedy na wengine naweza shindana nao unapata maybe mimi vitu nyingi na learn from them okay. una get na the more mimi wanaenda juu mimi hata nataka anga waniache ndio mtu unajua mtu sema niko na 100k subscriber kuna 200k mm-hmm. ananipa motisha mm-hmm. but basically mimi kile nimefanya ni unatengeneza tu brand yako na wewe una target audience yako have your own audience cause utapata mtu mwingine audience yake sema ni young moms mimi yangu ni vijana so unaona hiyo competition na nini so what i compete with ni venye naweza leta general family yani watoto wanafurahia nini wanafurahia nini but from other comedians mimi mpenda ku learn mm-hmm. eh yeah, cause kwanza wenye wanakuja fresh wanakuanga na content fresh mm-hmm. wana originality wana revive back up brain yako but mimi napenda mimi upenda sijaipenda hiyo competition na mtu cause uki compete na mtu you upset your bar up to the best of that person but uki compete against your best you know? Okay. Juka mimi nilikuwa na dare tu nikuwe na kama YouTube nilifikisha kama hata 50k views. Yaani tu video yangu moja ifike juzi nilikuwa ni niko 4 months na ile na views mingi sana ni 4k. 4k. Eh na nimekaa muda ni so nilikuwa natamani tu video moja ifike 50k. Uh-huh. So unaona but hiyo sasa kujaribu kupush your best sasa unaona yani hata after half a million niko na more than 50k au ni followers si views. Mhm. Uh-huh. Mm? Unaona kama ni sahihi naenda sijui 90 million. 90 million views wa wow, kutoka nianzisha YouTube. So mm-hmm. niliona anga ukicompete na mtu mm-hmm. sometimes hata ukampita una feel kama umeachieve. So mimi upenda yani ku compete na ku dare to dream. Ukipata 10k views next mm-hmm. time una dare zifike 15. Next time hiyo ukiona watu wageni wametokea instead ya compete learn jua ni nini wanafanya fresh nini 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 ni hivyo mm-hmm. then you incorporate in you. Okay. Mm. Pa na uploading videos ngapi and uh, is it um and what's your growth strategy oh public muslim you upload video moja but in kianza i could do two mm-hmm. but squeeze ni moja hata na is a cut weeks ni post video moja mm-hmm. kwa sasa unataka uipe time ama saa hii kuna time job sana ya job za unajua pia wakati huna clients ndio you do a lot of comedy okay. wakati maybe kuna job unafikiria ya client mm-hmm. you tend to focus more unakuwa ushoot video mob mm-hmm. alafu sasa pia kuna mahali nafika yani unataka unajua kitambo una post tu Mm-hmm. Sasa hii uko na more than half a million people wamengojea wa upload content to watch. So na wewe utaki uweke tu content hivi hivi. Yeah. Lazima ikuwe content unique, mm-hmm. content fit. So but basically ni kama video moja per week. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um there's a conversation nimetaka utueleze. Mm-hmm. Ni lessons gani umelearn? Najua umekuwa kwa industry for mm-hmm. how many years? Sasa hii industry vizuri nimekaa karibu 7 but mimi kujifanyia yangu sasa hii inaenda for and half years. Okay, mm. for and half years. Mm. Ni lessons gani umelearn personally as the sagu mm. zilioneza ambia anyone who is upcoming in the industry. Kile ni mimi kwa industry. Mm. Ukifikiria idea na uona inakusut na ni unique na unaipenda. Mm-hmm. Mm. Learn to ku package vizuri. Okay ki package vizuri alafu kuwe consistent finally tajiripa mimi pia na example na mm-hmm. eh chapo hapa nje utanunua 15 bob ama 10 bob pizza ni chapati imepikwa side moja lakini unanunua dhao mm-hmm. tofauti ni nini packaging ndio <laughs> <laughs> ile iko na kona kama <laughs> sijui kona nini <laughs> so mimi kenye mpenda kwambia msee whether kenye unafanya ni kuimba ama nini tafuta wewe utakuwa unique okay alafu being unique find a way you package it mm-hmm. and once you stop don't stop. once you start don't stop don't stop eh na kadu ak lazima kadu ak lazima eh. na consistency mm-hmm. once you are unique be consistent okay yeah. mm. do you edit your videos or there someone who does for you ah uh, sijai kuwa edit but kuna time one of my editor kitambo alienda karibu 2 months so i had to teach myself mm-hmm. but sasa basically sasa hii because niko na kampuni i really do these things Okay. Kuna mtu atashoot si mimi, kuna mtu ata edit, kuna mtu ataeka graphics. Mm-hmm. Kuna mtu yani hizo kazi kazi yangu tu ni kutokea pale kwa set. Hata ni hao wanani guide saa zingine. Okay. Mm. So talking about company, mm. tell us about yourself. And uh, I will comment pia you are launching a studio. Mm. So okay. basically what I did after June mwaka na watu wengi sana. Mm-hmm. Na sasa ni inafika mahali sitaki ku work like Henry Disagwata channel zangu nataka ikuwe ni kama TV 
So anybody can act. Bora hiyo content imeletwa na kampuni yangu. So ni kwa kampuni inaitwa Supercam Media Solution. Hiyo mm-hmm. inafanya Supercam Media Solutions. Media Solutions. Mm-hmm. So inafanya anything solution we, ya media. Nitaka shooting. Mm-hmm. Na shooting ina maanisha ukitaka video, ukitaka mpaka music video. Okay. Na kushutia music video. Mm-hmm. Uh, tunakushufanyia marketing, any marketing, branding, mm-hmm. photography, photography ni watu kukuja hapa kwa studio unapigwa Uh, so meaning uh, naweza toka home me dress two feet hata unabeba yeah. manguo na suitcase <laughs> eh. na tu studio na chapa tu photo uh, photo ukitaka hizo ni za within the studio uh-huh. na pia tunaweza enda mahali kingine huko nje uh, so general photo zangu zitaka hola unajua photographers ah, ni wewe utasema ah hapa yeah. tunaharakisha pose ya ku build reputation <laughs> eh. Eh, kuna team ina ina handle hiyo kazi so mimi ni client akinuza kwanza tu so is up to them what deliver mna agree tu okay. tunasema this photo na zitaji mm-hmm. tunaweza fanya coverage ukuwa na harusi ukuwa na ile event okay. tukuja kufanyia coverage mm-hmm live streaming okay hizo vitu zote ukitaka hata equipment za zingine but ni venye tupendi kuhaisha equipment tunapendanga ziende na crew yetu oh, okay. ndio usikuwe tu equipment pia ajiri mtu yeah. but basically ni marketing na anything digital videography mm-hmm. videography videography photography photography digital marketing uh-huh. branding mm-hmm. branding hizo ndio vitu main na nafanya okay hizo ndio yani like the main job uh, that means now you have a, a team now mm. since you found a company you have a team mm. that can now uh, efficiently eh yeah, kuna wana, clients eh yeah, mtu hata akikuona unajua uko na kuna watu kuna wako nao ni kama watano wale main mm-hmm. kuna director mm-hmm. kuna photographer eh, kuna videographer na kuna graphic designer okay And could you say this will this change the person we see the the sagu that we've always known mhm would you like like on youtube mm-hmm. so sir will it change that because now you are now a ceo kuna uh, right. jina ile channel ya Henry the Sagu hiyo ni kitu kingine sasa Henry the Sagu ako under Supercam Media Solution ni ni artist mm-hmm. na Supercam Media Solution iko na artist wengine mm-hmm. so mimi nitaendelea tu kama artist kama mimi okay alafu is unajua hata mimi si sio mimi vile tu ni mimi ni head but everything inafanywa kama team okay so mimi yani when it comes to shoot mimi am under the director ni ana ku direct wewe fanya hivi fanya hivi fanya hivi okay. ndio kazi tokee okay, okay. Eh, so character itaendea but sasa kwa hizo vitu zingine mm-hmm. sasa hapo ndio na, na head okay. najua hivi itaenda hivi itafanya hivi na na msi anataka kuku, kukuchukua eka desabu ufanye brand promotion sasa si ana kuja like uh, what's the process The process is you contact sasa Supercam Media Solution. From now onwards, eh, Supercam Media Solution. Then you na sema the artist I want to use ni Desa. Ah okay. Eh then Supercam itakutumia red card, mm-hmm. itakutumia strategy, itakutumia profile, kila kitu. Hata ukataka another artist, yani you can approach sasa that artist. So meaning mm-hmm. uko na wacha ni wita models mm-hmm. kadha mm-hmm. wanyo na fit different brands. Eh yeah. Uh, nikipiga labda nataka nauza magari ama nauza ama na promote kitu fulani mm. utani advise tuko na huyu tuko na huyu na huyu eh na hata kama yuko hapa mm. si mtu na wako nitaku recommend ni kwambie hiyo brand i think vizuri itaenda na bahati itaenda na nguna itaenda na nani it uh, depends okay. and i'll advise you the first thing tunataka when you approach me unanembe una uza na kuuliza target audience mm-hmm. a general brief ya kampuni yako okay. then target group then based on target group ndio nitajua na kuambia me this one i think this can achieve this can achieve okay but sasa for us what we do mm-hmm. kila content iko tailored to meet watu fulani ndio square limit oh, like kuna okay. content naweza tengeneza in target ladies ah oh, okay so unaweza pata maybe my biggest audience is ladies but when a client akuja na nione hey hapa kuna pesa bwana pesa iachwe you create content ni sasa utaenda create utafute mtu mwenye ako na hiyo audience ya ladies okay. alafu sasa we work together na kuna mse labda anaweza kuwa na wao changataka labda kuficha mm. uh, ku come on board mm. kama uh, model mm-hmm. so that ukipata clients mm-hmm. on as a recommend mm-hmm. afanye but under media mm-hmm. company yako eh yeah. uh, is there is there, is there a lot of opportunity eh hey, iko kabisa actually we are coming them Okay. Ata wengine wanataka wakuje tupige picha tukange nazo cuz there are these clients who come anataka muonyeshe models au unamuonyesha eh yeah, yeah, yeah. job actors okay. nini mm-hmm. mtu anakuja tu atanaacha sample kwa studio ah okay you never know opportunity inatokea ngana ni haraka haraka and we need somebody mwenye kona hii character so ina hapa all right yeah eh, sawa sawa sasa launch ni lini bwana launch ni lini kama 3 weeks the first i'm planning for the first 
within the first or second Friday of July. Of July. Mm. Okay. Mm. Lazima tutoke. Ah, tutoke ni kutakuwa na mbuzi na nyama vizuri sana. Uh-huh. Na wakukuda pia watakuwa <laughs> wakatufia <laughs> pia itakuwa. Uh, itakuwa within the studio ma Itakuwa within the studio but outside ndio tayaka tent. Oh. Oh, within mm. around mm. Mm. outside outside mm. oh. Oh. Yeah. oh okay 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 kuna marafiki wengi wazi to share eh bado naita marafiki juu ya covid protocols and all that eh yeah. okay mm. what are some of the challenges as an influencer who may face as a social media influencer now not mm. like a comedian yeah yeah because i know on on instagram you have a very big following mm. on facebook pia mm. and the other social media platforms mm. ni ni challenges gani umepata nazo na zingine ni trends zenye zinaendelea zinakuforce unajua as an influencer sometimes unataka ku influence watu waende hivi alafu kuna vitu zina happen all of a sudden all of a sudden zina change for example unaweza kuwa umefanyia client a very nice advert good advert yeah. alafu wenye tu umepost hivi sikia miguna amerudi kenya so all the attention ni yenye watu wangepea whatever you are doing yeah. and inakuwa politics so sometimes social media as an influencer kuna vitu happen very drastic yeah. ama hata kitu tu kanatokea ndio a post to go on board with it yeah. yani saa zingine anything inaweza tokea na watu wasahau so hiyo inakuwa na challenge kubwa sana yeah. alafu pia kukimbiza sasa unaona kukimbizana na hizo trends mm-hmm. inakuwa ngano na pia pay clients value unajua okay. client kuna lazima client pate value Mhm hata muweze kuendelea kufanya business ndio kupe more jobs mm-hmm. na pia kupata client wanataka kufanya short term so wanaweza fikiria hauna impact unajua unaweza advertisea mtu anauza kitu client aone leo lakini maybe atabai december lakini sasa client next month afikirie maybe mm-hmm. hauku reach your client so umeona kama sasa hivi somebody comes and advertise mashamba anataka ana announce leo na maybe ni shamba ya half a million ni watu wangapi kenya wanaweza pata hiyo half a million within 2 weeks ndio aone impact ani ngumu and actually not it somewhere uh, uh, what not to do a call and then they do the inquiry then they come and buy na itakuwa ni promotion so hizo zinakuwa ng'a challenge ya kimbizano na clients hivyo mm-hmm. but hizi ngine hizi ngine ni the normal two challenges kwa kisha you are growing usikuwe stagnant yeah. na ku maintain kukuwa must watch Okay. Mm, unajua kuna kuwa na following na kuwa na audience. So you ku maintain audience. Oh, kwa at least active pale hiyo kama ni audience ni watu wanataka ku watch ama wanajua Kenya ni post. Yeah. You know unaweza kuwa na following hata ya 10 million mm-hmm. lakini watu wana watch 100k. Na unaweza kuwa na following ya 300k na watu wana watch 200k. Mm-hmm. So you are better off. Uh the sagu you have a rate card for maybe Instagram, mm-hmm. Kando, mm-hmm. you have a rate card for Facebook Kando. Mm-hmm na you have a rate card for youtube can mm. maybe if someone maybe a client anataka mimi nataka tu instagram yako mm. unakuanga na rate card yake can a rate card in kwangu fixed cause kila brand ni tofauti mm-hmm. kwa pressure na kampuni ya simu mm-hmm. na kwa pressure na mtu wako na salon wewe sema that this is the rate card for instagram so okay. the big determinant is the brand okay yeah, the brand kwanza ukijua mm-hmm. then sasa ndio unakuja which handle and the nature of the promotion but kitu ya kwanza mtu hawezi tu kuja out of nowhere uniambie ni pair it card nitakuuliza ya for which brand because each brand kuna wachaji tofauti mwingine ni boys wa mtaa sasa utu ampe it card iko yenye umepea hizi kampuni kubwa so we we've, uh, we've had uh, the sagu uh, prince of mwihoko mm. there are some of the terminologies ambazo anasemanga sana mm. na ametoa ngoma by the way mbwe dede katuamba sumbwe dede <laughs> what does those uh, words mean Oh hizo words mm-hmm. so basically is not one be skiza skiza nimekupigia leo nikasikia ina imba iko na skiza tu eh hiyo ya umbwede ni kama kuna mimi mwenyewe si hata mimi si kosi hiyo but basically hiyo uh-huh. kabla nitoe ngoma hiyo mm-hmm. story ya umbwede de kuanga ni story kuna time kulikuanga na NYS candles so it kwa very big yeah. so we want i wanted to use big words to explain the new corruption in bias so unasema mbambuzo na mbamfazo and discombobulated by the shenanigans and you are about surrounding the corruption in this country so basically nasema nimekasirishwa nimegadhabishwa nimeudhishwa ka kama the mammoth dogma of corruption in this country mm-hmm. so ndio unasema the corruption dogma in this country is an paragon it is kolwobos and katika mpazia ni mbaya ni mbaya sana na ni mbaya zaidi so nika sasa ni word ni dia katu hapo yangu ni hiyo we are really in obnoxious mbwedi so mbwedi ina maana yani mali tuko tuko so very worst hata tuwezi jisaidia mm-hmm. eh alafu sana nasema insight time pula fastidious panakea 
<laughs> yani a fast solution <laughs> a fast solution to deal with the corruption in this country so mm-hmm. basically sasa hizo words watu wakakuwa mtu fulani akachukua anga nikiongea alafu akaeka beats nikaona ah inaweza kuwa wimbo sasa tunasema tu ati bumpers mbwede de kitu ikiwa mbaya uko kwa mbwede de kwa hivyo boys uko kwa mbwede de it just means that uh-huh. kama example kama watu wanunuza anga mbwede de inamaanisha nini kama uandikie dem yako message ya mapenzi paragraph hivi umetumia nini alafu reply na k sasa wewe hapo unakuanga in a state of wedded. Wedded. <laughs> no ma sana. So uh na skiza skiza tu. Skiza. Hiyo tu I think to translate you I don't know it of head. Mzuri pia watu wanaweza get by the. Waangalie ngoma hapo nimeweka skiza tu kwa YouTube kwa hiyo ngoma. Wedded. Okay. Hata natoa nyingine inaitwa ubudhi. Ubudhi. Eh tadili su very soon <laughs> so, so, so thank, you. thank you so much uh, desagu for granting us this opportunity uh, mm. to interview you and to know what you've been up to uh, at least meskia is launching a studio mm. very soon in the second week of july mm. on a friday uh, we as royal tender will be here to cover the event for you to to make sure to cover everything now like you meskia uh the studio at Akwa of uh, different services these are the production a bit of it kuna digital marketing bit of it and uh more other services so you can always reach out to the sagu is uh if you check on his social media uh platforms he does a serious job he does a serious marketing for brands so thank you so much the sagu very welcome now to our viewers Please as you watch this video remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a like comment and share thank you so much till next time bye bye yeah.